What factors do you consider while making decisions? Decisions that could be related to any aspect of life. There's going to be short-term decisions and mid-term decisions and long-term decisions that you got to factor in here. When you're making any decision at all, like just to know like what's the ideal end outcome? What are you optimizing for? What are you optimizing for? What's your like what's your true north? What are you trying to get to? All your decisions should be based around helping you get to that point as efficiently as possible and ideally as fast as possible. So I make decisions that I factor in. I'm like, is this going to, is this going to make me happier? Is this going to make me more money? Is this going to make me healthier? Is this going to make me fitter? Is this going to help my students get more results, better results faster? Like I optimize for that. And in my business, it's like, is it going to help my students get results faster? Is it going to bring in more income for us? Is it going to make my staff's life easier? Like, but number one is like, is it going to help the students get more results faster? That's just the business side of things. And in life, it's like, well, is it going to help me get fitter? Is it going to, is it going to help me get healthier? So I just base it around like what I'm trying to optimize for. If you don't know what you're trying to optimize for, then your decisions are going to be, oh yeah, sure, I'll go and party tonight. Oh, sure, I'll go watch that dumb movie that's nothing to do with anything. Like you'll just make decisions without any target. Like I don't watch random movies about anything unless I have a really clear intention. Like, why am I watching this movie? And if like, let's say somebody wants to, um, let's say if I go on a date with somebody and I want to cuddle up and watch a dumb movie and I'm like, okay, I'll just cuddle up and watch this dumb movie. I'll at least enjoy the movie because what I'm doing in my head as I'm watching the movie is I'm, I'm thinking about how the producers made the film. And I'm learning about the story of how of, I'm learning about the storytelling and I'm studying the story structure. Cause I know that like, really good movies, even crappy movies, they follow a story structure. So I'm always interested and fascinated with like how stories are told. And I learned so much from watching movies on how they tell their stories so that I can go and tell my stories when I'm doing like a webinar or when I'm on stage presenting or something, or when I'm even making a YouTube video, I can learn about how to tell a better story just by watching even a simple movie, like Ferris Bueller's day off or something which is a great movie, by the way. <laughs> I, I can at least benefit from watching a dumb movie because I know I'm trying to optimize for. Also, with decisions, I try to pick the one that, I mean, I don't even try that hard. It just kind of comes naturally. So I've gotten to the point I'm at now. I was like, is it really exciting? Does the idea of this sound really exciting? So I wasn't going to get a treadmill for the longest time. I was like, I don't want a treadmill. I don't want a treadmill. It was not exciting. And now I'm like, oh, treadmill, it's exciting. I'll get it. So I got the treadmill because I'm like, this is going to help me walk way more to get more exercise in and it's enjoyable. I like, love, love running on a treadmill as well. It's enjoyable. It's going to help me stay lower body fat percentage. It's going to help me stay leaner. And uh, it's going to allow me to not have to go to the gym and waste all that time going to the gym. I can just stay home. I got a treadmill. I got weights here. I'm good. I got new cardio and strength at home. So it saves me. It's very productive for my good, better for my business. I can get business done whilst on the treadmill and I don't need to waste a lot of time going to the gym and it's going to make me healthier. So the idea of it now is very exciting. That's it. And the thing about decisions is you have to learn to make decisions quickly. Like some people do don't get ahead in life and business. They're not making decisions quickly enough. You got to learn to make decisions quickly. Obviously these can't be decisions that are going to like make or break you. Like you make a decision that's going to make your business lose all its money. Okay. That's a bad decision. Because survival needs to be like number one for sure. You need to be able to survive. But beyond that, you gotta learn to make decisions that are gonna like that gonna have risk involved. So it's like the treadmill might not pay off. I might not use it. That would suck. Or hiring a coach. This coach might not work out. I may waste a few thousand dollars with this, but at least I made the decision. So that's like one of my advantages I have over people is I actually make decisions. I make a lot of them. And I notice other people in life, they go through life and I'm like, hey, what's new? They go, nothing. Really? What have you been doing? Nothing. Any big decisions lately? No. Still thinking about it. Like, whoa, the reason I'm progressing so much and so quickly is because I'm making decisions. I'm actually pulling triggers. I'm hiring that person. I'm firing that person. I'm watching that video. I'm like setting that thing up. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Like I'm making decisions. And I'm, I'm, I, and it, maybe it's easier for me to make a decision because I know exactly what I'm optimizing for. And a lot of people just don't know what they're optimizing for.